Yeah, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a this is a continuation of my previous video on introduction of matrices. So if you missed that video, I will advise you check my page for it. Okay. The name is introduction. The topic is introduction to matrices. So this is a continuation of it. So this still under introduction, but it's going to be a little bit advanced than the previous one. So let's get into it. This is what scalar multiplication of matrices. How do we do this? This is very easy. This just means what? Multiplying matrices, a matrix with what? A scalar. A scalar is just a whole number. So let's go in with an example. Example. It says, solve. It says simplify. Simplify three times what? Two, four, five, six. When you have something like this, this is what? This is a matrix. This is a scalar. That is a whole number. All you need to do is to use this number to multiply what? The, the, the respective elements inside this matrix. So what do we do? We are going to open our brackets. So it's going to be 3 times 2. 3 times 2. Now 3 times 4. 3 times 4. 3 times 5. 3 times 5. 3 times 6. 3 times 6. Now you are true. Notice that all I did was to use this particular uh, scalar to multiply all the elements inside this matrix. So this is going to be equal to 3 times 2 will give us 6. 3 times 4 will give us 12. 3 times 5 will give us 15. And 3 times 6 will give us 18. And this becomes a solution. It's very easy, right? Okay, let's do another one. That one says simplify. We are having half divided by what? Half multiplied by 2, 4, 6, 8. So how do we do this? Just like we did here. We are going to multiply each element here by what? Half. So let's do that. So we are going to have half times 2 for here. And for this place, it's going to be half times 4. Half times 4. For here, it's going to be half times 6. Half times 6. Then this will be half times 8. Half times 8. You know, you can do this over 1, over 1, over 1. To balance it, 8 over 1 is still 8. 4 over 1 is still 4. 2 over 1 is still 2. So you have not changed anything. Now, this is going to give us, I would like you to stick with me because from here we are going into multiplication of words, two matrices together. I believe you would love to do that as well, to learn it. Okay. So if you have followed me to this level, I think it's time for you to hit that subscription button because it means that you are actually enjoying what I'm doing. So please subscribe to the channel and also hit on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video okay thank you so much so notice that two divide itself one divide itself one all we have here is just one you have one right for this place two divide itself divide four you have two all we have here is what two for here you have two divide itself one divide six you have three so all we have here is what three 2 divide itself, 1 divide 8, you have 4. All we have here is 4. So our solution is what? 1, 2, 3, 4. This is our answer. Okay, let's do one more example. Then we go into multiplication of two matrices. Okay, let's do that. So this example says, this example says 1 over 3 times simplify 1 over 3 multiplied by 1 1896 1896 312 6 312 6 all right now let us go ahead and do this this is equal to we are going to use what? 1 over 3 to multiply these numbers respectively. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. 
It's going to be 1 over 3 times 18 over 1 for this. Then for this, it's going to be 1 over 3 times 9 over 1. Okay? Then for this, it's going to be 1 over 3 times 6 over 1. We are through with the first row. Now let's enter the second row. It's going to be what? 1 over 3 times 3 over 1. That is for this one. Then for this, it's going to be 1 over 3 times 12 over 1. Then for this, it's going to be 1 over 3 times 6 over 1. All right. Having done this, we now go in to get our final result. So 3 divide itself, 1 divide 18, you are going to have 6. So here, what do we have? 1 times 6, which is what? 6. Then for here, 3 divide itself, 1 divide 9, you are going to have what? 3. So it means that what we have here is 1 times 3 will give us what? 3. Now, 3 divide itself, 1 divide 6, you will have 2. 1 times 2 will give us 2. We are true with the first row, okay? Now, for here, we have 3 divide itself, 1 divide itself, 1. So all we have here is 1 times 1, which is 1. 3 divide itself, 1 divide 12, you have 4. So what we have here is 1 times 4, which is 4. Now, 3 divide itself, 1 divide 6, you have 2. So what we have here is 1 times 2, which is 2. And this becomes our answer. It's very interesting, right? Okay. Now, I would like you to solve this as assignment. Just solve this one as assignment before we go into multiplication of two matrices. So, assignment. Assignment. I would like you to solve. Solve 1 over 2 into 10. Eight, six, four. Okay, this is the assignment. I would like you to do it and drop the answer in the comment section.